Good morning, good evening or good afternoon folks. Where am I? Matchborough West. Uh, I'm going to go over to Evesham, so uh, I'm catching the bus from Redditch, just waiting for it to arrive. So come and join me on the ride out. Uh, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it's two minutes to the next bus, 57. Uh, it is quite handy for my house. Um, haven't got to go too far uh, to, to hop on the bus. Let's give you a little look round. Go round. Yeah, there's my dentist up there. Isn't the one that butchered me? That was the Kidderminster Hospital. Uh, so yeah, so this is the, uh, the school just down there. So. Just wait for the bus now, so we'll see in a bit. Here it comes, the uh, 57. Right now, uh, now in the town centre. Gotta wait for the bus now to Evesham. Yeah, greetings, folks. Just wait for the next bus now, so we'll see in a bit. Yeah, so this is the bus. 247. I hope it's going to Eve. Sure, it said Bedford, but fingers crossed. Hello, world. Uh, I'm just going to do a bit of a voiceover on a few of the spots. This is now turning to go down the Studley Road here. So, um, I had some folks sat to me on the right, so I didn't really want to do any talking as I was going along. So, uh, I'm going to go down here in the bus. It surprised me where it went. Uh, first time for me to be on the uh, this route to Bidford on Avon. Takes a left ear down to Sillins Avenue. So we'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, now on the way down Sillins Avenue. I haven't been down here for many years. Uh, many years ago, I had a workshop down the bottom of Bailey Road, but you had to go another way to get to that. It was next near ETB. So uh, I used to have some customers along here many years ago. I do a few cars from here. The bus is now going to take a right. Um, I was just surprised the big double decker bus where they go. Yeah, so now going down Beardy Road. But this way, the route the bus is going. Uh, in fact, I've got a friend, a customer, an old friend Spencer, he lives down here on the left. Uh, yeah, so going down, uh, there used to be Brooklyn Garage uh, Body Shop at the bottom here on the right, and then next to it is where Ready Parts used to be, and I used to have a unit down there years ago, and Billy Duffett, a customer and friend, lives there on the left. So, yeah, now this takes us on to the, uh, the industrial estate, um, again, many years ago. We don't go past it, but uh, there used to be a, a poly factory, um, Smarts, I think it was called, over the other side. And there used to be a lorry company called Tank Freight. I used to rent the old lorry workshops off them many years ago. So we're now heading back to go towards um, uh, the Studley Road. So, so this this route you can only really go when you're on a bus. It's uh, got some bus only turnings, which you'll see shortly. Yeah. So, so de to the left was down there was where I used to have my workshop many years ago. Yeah. So this is the bus only 
bit here, but it wasn't like that when I was there. I used to come and take a right there and go to the shop. So now we join the Studley Road, um, going down. Uh, got some traffic lights here. There used to be a mobile garage on the right years ago, and uh, Tesco Express, a you know, chip shop, and Chinese takeaway. I think they got a pizza at, uh, like collection place there. Yeah, so again heading down the Studley Road. Um, this is now taking us towards the Woodrow. Yeah, hi folks, now going down uh, Studley Road, got the Mayfly pub down here, um, plus the uh, post office. Uh, so it's the first time I've been on this route on a bus. Um, we're going down now, it's going to take a right shortly to Greenlands. Yeah, so now in Greenlands, uh, taking a left now towards the Woodrow. Um, shot, forgot the name of the road going on there. I think Throckmorton Road, maybe. Not sure. Um, yeah, so uh, just um, heading now towards the uh, um, Alexandra Hospital. So we'll see you a bit further along. Yeah, so this bus really does go around the Recon. It takes a left here. There used to be a pub called the Jolly Farmer on the left. This takes us through the Woodrow. I don't know, north, south. I'm not sure which it is. Somebody might know. Uh, I did used to live actually down uh, the Woodrow many years ago. It wasn't too bad. Um, so, yeah, so we're just going through the estate it's just amazing where this bus going especially as it's going to Bidford so we'll see you a bit further along Cheapskates Park instead of parking at the hospital and on one of them. I think it's ridiculous. Um, I don't mind if it was like a pound or something to cover parking fees, but what they charge at the hospital is it's absolutely uh, daylight robbery. Anyway, that's another story. We're now going to take a right now and we're going up towards the Alex Hospital, Alexandra Hospital going left in now and uh, so it's just amazing where this bus went to get us to Bidford I thought it was going all the way to Eversham but it didn't it just went to Bidford so we're doing a boat turn now here at the Alex Yeah, now on the road um, to Studley. Uh, 
I wasn't sure where the bus was going to go. I think it takes a right here going down towards where the pub, there used to be a pub called the Griffin. Always like that tree just there. Um, so just uh, you know, getting a shot of the tree there. So yeah, so we're just shooting round the roundabout. Um, the MG garage there. BW Skoda I think is on the left. So we're now heading down towards um, Studley. This is going to take us out past the Griffin. Well, was the Griffin pub on the right? It's all houses now. And we're going in to Studley. Yeah, getting a bit closer. There used to be another pub on the right. Here, I forgot the name of it. Uh, that's now houses, and we've got a pub on the left, the Shakespeare. I've been there for since the COVID times. There used to be a good takeaway, uh, the Indian takeaway. That's something else now. That's a nice house. Uh, something left uh, of the uh, old buildings in Redditch. I've not most of them down. So again, on the left here with that Johnson's bus going, I don't think I'll swing the camera into it, but that used to be Studley Garage there, it's now Aldi, and I used to rent the workshops, that's it, yeah, at the back of there many years ago. I've been around the block a bit. Now going through Studley, it's a lovely little village. Um, they were going to build a bypass to go through Studley, um, but uh, they compulsory purchased a lot of houses and got the grain sorted out. Then they had a change of plan, and uh, so we've still got a lot of uh, traffic um, going through the village here. So, uh, again, there used to be a garage on the right here, Texaco Garage, um, that's long gone. And there was a pub here as well, just where that chap turned on his bike. Somebody might remember the name of it. I used to go in there years ago and then go across the road and get a Mario's pizza. It's changed hands there. I used to like the original uh, Mario. His pizzas were really nice. Yeah, so now we're getting a bit of a move on along here. It's only 30 mile an hour, but it's doing well. Um, quick eye to my friend Ray over in Vermont, he's uh, originally from Studley, I know he might watch this. So yeah, so we're going um, through Studley now, um, I'm trying to think of the name, where the next port to call this, it might come to me in a minute, but we've got Erdington's garage on the left, I just had a refurbished forecourt there, it looks nice. Um, again, going along here, I don't know if I'll swing, I'm just swinging to a bit of countryside there. Um, there used to be a pub on the right along here, and that's houses now. Um, all changes, I'm afraid. Just a strain to put a gimbal there. I did have speed cameras all the way along here. Yeah, it's a uh, spurnal car sales I think it's called there um, you got a uh, garden centre just there and uh, it's got a sign for the Throckmorton pub there yeah so there's a the Throckmorton on the right and uh, going down now towards Coton I was going to say Coton forward Coton Court on the left I do swing the camera round to it in a sec so uh, it's been that way a lot doing lots of walks down there I think I'll get a better shot on the next uh, swing round after these trees yeah coat and court in the distance yeah now heading towards King's Coat and uh, on the there's a rugby club there and a car wash on the right. 
um, going down towards Broad Line. Caravans will be coming up in a minute on the left. That's a pub. I've got the name of it now, but there is a pub there. Um, it's the only thing when you do the voiceover after you can't see all the signs to do say what where everywhere is. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so broad line here, so I'll go down if I need any bits for me um, camper accessories you can get from there, it's pretty good. And if you're in the camping club, camping and caravan club, you get a discount, which is handy. So we're now taking a right here. Um, who are we? No, it's going through Ulster. Yeah, so we're going into uh, Ulster now. So we'll see you a bit further along. Yes, yeah, coming to Ulster, there's a Indian restaurant. I've been in once. It's not too bad. Uh, bit pricey and the portions are small but apart from that food was tasty so uh, yeah we're coming up to uh, Old Sister now and uh, I think the pub on the left we're going to go past is the Lord Nelson but many years ago Percy Tate cars used to be on the right here uh, again we used to do some work for him for Percy Tate years ago uh, so yeah, coming in uh, now into Ulster, we're going to come up and pull up at the bus stop here if I remember. So, yeah, so we'll just uh, catch you in a minute. And now going through Ulster, there's a Roman museum on the road because Ulster is a Roman town, uh, so there's lots of uh, interesting facts about old sister if you go in that museum and the good thing is it's free entry right so we're going out of uh, old sister now there used to be another pub here on the right that's long gone how times have changed there is a garage on the left here so garage that's still going uh, surprise it hasn't been knocked down and houses built on it so we're going up to the roundabout now to uh, oh actually yeah we're going to switch the roundabout we go straight over uh, now towards Arrow and uh, Ragley Hall so uh, see a bit further along Yeah, now at the roundabout, uh, left will take you to Stratford, go right to the right, that'll take you back up towards Redditch, Asphalt Bank, we're going straight over towards Arrow, and um, Ragley Hall. Uh, not so long ago, a few weeks ago, I was down this way, um, filming, there's a public footpath with a church, it's quite nice down there also I was filming the air show it was on at Ragley Hall they're all on my channel um, turn right to go to Worcester there Inkborough so uh, yeah so I'm just going um, through now there's a uh, something mill on the left arrow mill that's it that's quite a nice place I haven't been there for a long time and we got uh, the entrance to Ragley Hall there so we're going to go along here and we're going to bear left uh, shortly uh, to Wixford <laughs> not sure I remember all the names of all the places now this is a route many years ago I used to have a motorbike and sidecar and I was regularly going to Bidford on that and I used to come along here a lot cold nights in the winter uh, but I used to enjoy the motorbike days but 
feel more safer in four wheels especially the roads have got so busy so we're now going to shortly be bearing left on this uh, corner to go towards Bidford well, we're going to hit Wixford first yeah so we're just coming over the bridge here at uh, Wixford and we've got the pub on the left yeah, it's a nice little view there there's the pub Fisher Wixford and we're going to head on now down towards Bidford on Avon so we'll see a bit further along always like those row of trees on the rice along there it's a nice run I used to love coming along there on my motorbike uh, going to uh, Bidford um, so we're coming in to uh, Bidford shortly you've got a lot of changes along here there's a lot of new houses and uh, industrial stuff uh, as we get in a bit closer um, when we get to the end of here I thought the bus was going to go left and go in to Bidford but uh, it didn't, it went right so uh, just coming up to the uh, roundabout here I think we've got another one yeah this is the industrial on the left and all new houses on the right so uh, yeah so just coming down i forgot the names of all these roads but some of them are new ones and some of the original roads which i used to know know people that lived there so we're just heading a bit closer now yeah so i think we're now coming up to the roundabout well we've come to the junction we have to take a right i think now uh, normally there is a if you go left and then first right that can take you up through the village but it went the other way so uh, I was my plan I was going to Eversham uh, so but I could only get as far as Bidford well I managed to ring someone up to come and pick me up to um, get to my final destination but it was a nice afternoon, bit of a bumpy old bus ride, but uh, you know, it was okay, no complaints. So taking a left now at the roundabout, uh, this if you go straight on over here, you go over the bridge and to Honeybourne, to the Cotswolds, uh, but we're going to take a left here. Uh, uh, there used to be a pub, I think it was called the Saxon, on the left. And there was a pub on that was a pub there on the right. I forgot the name of that. Um, White Lion may have been. Uh, it's all changed there. But that pub to change to a courier. So I don't know what it is now. But uh, so here we are coming into the centre of Bedford, and this used to be the main road for all the lorries years ago coming through here yeah greetings folks well the bus didn't go to Eve she only went to Bidford so uh, that's where I am now I'll get the lift on to Eve I'm just gonna swing you around there's the church and there's the bus it's now the 247E to Oldcester so we'll 
catch you in a bit. Right, well, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, so, thanks for joining me. Give me something to do on my bus ride. I'll be obviously you'll probably hear a bit of a voiceover on me. Uh, Video. I'm just going to swing you around for a nice uh, less we forget, least we forget, I should say, nice memorial there. So I'll just get that in and uh, swing you back around to me. Yeah, so I'm ending the video. So uh, my hands are full, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's hope there's peace in Ukraine. We'll see you all the next one. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now folks.